Hello, this is Eggbeast. I'm going to do a tutorial today on um, ladder sites. So what is a ladder site? It is basically a, um, a movable site on a weapon which looks like a ladder, <coughs> surprisingly. And when you zero your weapon, the ladder site animates. That is basically what we're talking about. So that's our CQB site and then it flips up to a ladder and then it goes up and down with our with our zeroing values okay now the trick is to line up the eye point with the aim, with the aim point the aim point is on the front sight post which is what i'm looking at there the front sight post is key um, as you'll see let me let me just set this up so that's prone bipod semi and you can see when i wheel down on the action menu see the little white dot in the editor that tells us where we're aiming that's about the center of the screen and the bullet will always hit where where that white dot is when we zero, assuming our ballistics and everything are all fine. Um, so so basically everything else follows off of the front sight post. Now before we get into this, I just want to say thank you to um, Pufu, to the three CB guys, uh, Polo and Everick and the others, and uh, a, sp a special massive thank you to Toady Two K at NI Arms because you guys. Um, you know, you've lent us so many weapons for Unsung, and I've been learning so much of this stuff, this trade from from you. you you're fantastic. So, okay, let's crack on. Um, you'll see here, one and two meters, no problem. And then we flip up our sight, and two hundred meters, three hundred meters, zeroing at four hundred, five hundred meters. Got it first time. 600 meters. my old eyes are a little bit iffy got him 700 meters this is really testing me you have to see this when it goes onto youtube let's put some lead into the so that's 700 meters and i'm missing okay Damn it, 800 meters, I can't even see the target. Never mind, anyway, and then 900 and 1,000. So you can see our aperture is always lined up with the center of the, sorry, the center of the aperture, which is the circle at the back, is always lined up with the front sight post. It's not exactly rocket science, but this, this took me a while to work out how to do it. So that's the important thing. So when we come to animate the weapon, we fix the aim point on the front sight post, and then we animate the aperture to go up and down within a certain range. Now the range is, I set based on uh, the position there, the start position, and my end position so it doesn't clip into the frame. That is it. There's no, there's no mad maths calculations about ballistics or anything like that to do. It is literally an, um, an aesthetic decision about uh, clipping. Uh, or we could have had it lining up so that white line uh, lined up with the texture, but it just isn't going to do that for this. We might have to redo the texture to, to match the zeroing. I don't know. So that's that's kind of how it works. Um, now, with this weapon, when I show you it in a minute, you'll realize that the, the feed tray cover has the rear sight on it. See? So because the um, because of that, so you'll see, I'll do it again. It goes up, the feed tray cover goes up, it takes it takes the sight with it. So I'm going to show you the bones for this in a minute. You'll basically realize why why it's part of the feed tray cover, because it has to move when the feed tray cover does. Um, now what I'm going to do is just exit the game. Yeah, leave the game, thank you very much. Yes, I want to leave.